chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, but we really wanted to try the Cajun fish sandwich. But So this is the backup plan right there. But the goal is to try the fish sandwich. So take a bite of that, take a bite of that. Tell me that does not look good. We got fries too. Mmm. 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 Should have got me some coleslaw. Dang it. Vine is long now. The coleslaw on the chicken sandwich is the bomb. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's tartar sauce. How is that? It's good. Let me try it. Switch! How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Where? Of course, you know, it's in Texas. Baby, let me tell you, you look around here, you wouldn't even know that if we just um, came through a snowstorm. You wouldn't know at all. What did you mean by it? I'm thinking about that same thing, too. What video was that on? Because I'm very much going to reply that. When we were in a grocery store, people overreacting with the food? Yeah, like... I don't think like people and I said after that because I knew people might have took that the wrong way I was like people don't need to go in the store and buy 15 cases of water because like knowing Texas like it's Friday this happened they don't on, know what's going on this happened on Monday this Friday and we're back to normal living like people I said I specifically said they I don't know what go this is on the food channel I know you can cut this out whatever whatever no we're having a conversation so we did a video on the grocery store, our grocery, trying to find perishable foods. We have non-perishable foods at home. We have water at home. We have canned goods at home. We have tons and tons of noodles at home. Kanye Child just hooked us up, okay? So this is the garage. This is all the Christmas stuff over here. Some more classroom stuff. I need to get rid of that. The treadmill is now in here, but um, we're still working on that. My plants in here that I need to take back out. I think we have another freeze, so I'll take them out maybe tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff. But we do have food. Connie Chow, we have enough noodles to like, these are noodles, noodles. Um, she got us some um, pancake mix. I think you just had water. Um, pasta noodles. But we can't find meat <laughs> and cornbread and I don't know what this is cream or coconut there is one dish I do make with this though I mean we have some she's loading me up with vitamins y'all <laughs> I got vitamins for days <laughs> um, is there any peanut butter left in here a little bit of peanut butter in there so there's, you know, we got some stuff, some cookies, and I think that's it. But you know, if we had to, you know, we could get by. Oh, child, more noodles right there. My favorite ones are gone. Ooh, those noodles are good. These are a little too spicy for me, so I only put half the um, mix in it. But they're um, so just you know I'm just letting you guys know what's happening in Texas we are looking for perishable foods you know so the noodles are starting to get a little tired you know so but we have food to eat it's to really to show you that you know the perishable stuff is gone you can't find anything I was so glad that we were able to scoop up that the milk and bread egg so I made me some eggs we had um, a little bit of ham left over from Christmas <laughs> I defrosted that and so you make do with what you have you get it's an opportunity to get creative so we have food we have something we can cook if we if if we had to and the fish sandwich is good it tastes like a filet of fish sandwich do you think it tastes like no Ooh. it has a little kick to it oh this is spicy they both got a little spice i didn't get much spice from that one 
but I'm getting it from the sandwich. So anyway, listen, listen, listen. listen. So we were just talking about showing what it looked like in a grocery store and blah blah blah. So we were just walking around. We were looking for perishable food. First day we couldn't find milk, we couldn't find eggs, we couldn't find any of that. And so we were just talking in general and someone um had a comment and I usually don't show my children um comments that are unfavorable and <laughs> I showed her this one. I don't know why. <laughs> I showed her this one. And you can take it from there. Oh, man. Because basically what happened is we were in the store. And if any of you were in the Texas area, we're going through a little snowstorm right now. Well, at least the biggest one we've seen mm -hmm. in my life. And... Everybody is a little, you know, like we're in an uncomfortable time, people. This isn't what we're used to. And so, road, it's snowing a lot. We got a lot of snow for Texas. And so, people are all out going to the grocery stores, and our grocery stores are empty. There's nothing in the grocery stores. It's similar to what it looked like when Corona started. Everybody was out in the grocery stores trying to get food. And total Because paper. we were getting quarantined. So, nobody was leaving the house. So, the grocery stores are empty you know, understandably. So in the video, I said that I thought people were overreacting um, in the snowstorm that the grocery stores were so empty. I wasn't expecting it to be like that because, but then I followed that comment by saying, I don't think people need to be going out buying 15 cases of water when that's all happened on Monday, Tuesday, that time what was it like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, beginning of the week. It's now Friday, roads are clear, we're back to normal living in Texas. It's 50 degrees outside and it's pretty much back to normal. But the grocery stores are still empty. I was just saying, and the comment had said, um, you're saying people are overreacting when people are dying, when people are dying, girl, bye. I wasn't referring to people overreacting about the snowstorm. I was referring to people going out to the grocery stores clearing out the stores i just thought it was a little not blown out of proportion but it's just like we're in texas the heat's back roads are clear people are out doing normal things again like i'm going back to work today like people are all driving on the roads like it's fine there's no ice and so that's what i was referring to if it got taken out of context my apologies i didn't mean to sound um insensitive and In, insensitive but i took it as <clears throat> you meaning people buying excessive yeah. amounts of stuff and not leaving some for other people therefore the grocery stores then have to put a limit on things but i've seen people have you know different family members go up to buy two and three cases of water they and then the store has to put a limit but then they're using different family members to get additional stuff but what about somebody else who needs water? You know, right. so I took it from that context. I know she didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean like... Because I would have said something or I would have cut it out. I didn't mean like people are blowing this, you know, out the water. Like, obviously, this is a serious time because power is out and everything. Mm -hmm. But how Texas is, it's like Texas is a little bipolar. Like, it's going to be 20, 10 degrees this day. But it's going to be 70. Next week, we're going to be back in t-shirts and shorts. Like Next week, it's going to be in the 70s. Yeah, so I was just saying that as, like, I don't think people should have been insensitive going out, clearing out the grocery stores when we're going to be stuck in the house for two, three days. Like, I don't know. But I do understand that people's power is out, and it hasn't been, like, a comfortable time for people. I do understand that, but... Yeah, it's unprecedented. This is something that... Mm, it's nothing we've ever seen before. Right. No, I do understand that, so... I don't know. I wasn't trying to sound insincere, so... I don't know. But the comment did kind of rub me the wrong way. Well... <clears throat> I guess my comment rubbed her the wrong way, too, so... My apologies. Well, dear, just imagine... You get comments like that on a regular basis when you say something or do something 
that people don't approve of and you just bam, 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 bam. And people have something to say. I have one video, people went in on me, honey. At one point I thought about giving up, but the more negative comments you get or, you know, heartfelt comments that don't agree with you, you, you do get a thicker skin. But it does, we're human and it does get to, you know, get to us after a while. And that only got to me because I know that's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to, you know, make less of the situation. But are you going to reply? Yes, I will. And be respectful. I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to tell her what I meant. Yeah, even when I get um, rude comments, I still always reply with respect and kindness. And the funny thing is that sometimes that bothers people even more because I'm not allowing them to make me upset. Why? That's your opinion. I don't agree with it. Okay, I see how you feel. I understand. We have to agree to disagree. You ready to switch or you enjoying that? If you enjoy that, go ahead. This, the spice is kicking up. Mm-hmm. You want the chicken now? I'll hold it. You can eat this one. No, go ahead and finish the fish sandwich. I'll have a bite of this one. Okay. <laughs> so, guys. This fish sandwich is very good. It is. I really like it, actually. And it's not spicy. I don't think it's not spicy. With some coleslaw, this would be the bomb. Here. You went in on those fries, though. So, we are doing well in Texas. Stores are opening back up, just like you said. I wanted to check a grocery store. Well, we didn't get a chance to do that. I'll check tomorrow. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like right now. You would have never known we just had a snowstorm. Right? Yeah. Like, she out, short sleeve shirt. Mm hmm. We got one layer. Look, I had to roll my sleeves up. Texas is gonna be Texas. Mm hmm But we're not taking anything away. From the people who are actually going through hardships right now. No, because no. I do understand what is going on. Because we sat around with no electricity for good. We were freezing. And so we were out of it for like less than 10 hours. People mm -hmm. went out of it for days. Yeah. I know that would, woo, that would be rough. Then another person said, well, you should be prepared. You should have been prepared. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Nobody was. Nobody was expecting this. But we have portable chargers. All of our chargers were charge I got a charger in my car honey that'll that'll damn near run a whole house that battery in my car can jump start this car mm -hmm. just by that device alone so I know it'll do wonders inside of the house so I knew I had that and that's fully charged we have some mega chargers at home we have a portable grill at home with butane so if we had to we have a gas stove all you need is a match we got plenty of uh, matches and lighters at home we got a gas fireplace canned goods tons of blankets what more can we do we don't have flashlights though we got flashlights on our phone what, what more are we going to do? Technology is a crazy thing. How much more can we prepare? Um, I, didn't, I, I didn't have perishable foods, but 
let's just say we lost power on that, we would have had to cook all that. Already gained the COVID-15. Child, who one lady says she was from my job, she says she's been eating up all her food. She refused to let it go bad. And she says, when we get back to school, if you see me a little thicker, don't worry about it because I am. <laughs> Well, Bobby, people are always going to have things to say, but it's up to you how you respond to those people. And everybody's entitled to their opinion, but she didn't mean it that way. So it's like you want to, you don't owe them a response at all. But I know you want to because it's going to be burning you up. She's going to get one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to respond to some people. If you're not cursing and being irate, I will respond. You know, if that's your opinion, but I do respond um, if it's um, if it's respectable. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mukbang. We wanted to try that fish sandwich out. We heard so much about it. it Still fun. haven't went out, uh, gone out to venture to look for fufu yet. And get your coat that's water in the description box below. <laughs> I'm like a texture person when it comes to food. But I'm open to trying different um, cultural foods. Though. I will say it looks good. I'm open to trying anything. Um, I'll try at least one time. Most things. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Give this video a thumbs up or not. It is what it is. Um, and be safe and be blessed. Oh, child, oh I want to show you what the child. They got horses coming down the street. These are black. So y'all see the people on the horses? That little boy, he's young. What are they doing? They probably going to Dollar General. Only in Texas, y'all. Besides that, you don't see no snow, no nothing. It does not look like we just had a storm. Look at that, nothing. Get in the car, little boy. Get in the car. Mm-hmm. Sit still somewhere. <laughs> they go to pick up their Chinese food. Shut up. Where are they going? Is that a Chinese person? No, they're going to the pawn shop. Oh, no? Mm -hmm. They were right in the pawn shop. <laughs> pawn shop pulling one of those horses. <laughs> oh, no, they can't do that because it's their transportation.